Let's start our video with the story. This is a story of Ananda. He was a great devotee and a disciple of Buddha. Once Ananda asked Buddha, "I am with you for many years. I have seen others experiencing samadhi, but I haven't experienced it yet." Everyone here says, "I am close to you, but why I haven't experienced samadhi yet?" And he expressed his desire to attain enlightenment. Buddha answered him, "You haven't experienced samadhi because you haven't let yourself free." One day, the Buddha took Ananda to a quiet spot in the forest and asked him to sit down and meditate. The Buddha instructed Ananda to focus his mind on his breath and to let go of all thoughts and distractions. As Ananda meditated, his mind became more and more still until he experienced a state of deep concentration known as samadhi. In this state, he felt a sense of peace and clarity that he had never experienced before. After some time, the Buddha asked Ananda to describe his experience. Ananda explained that he had experienced a profound sense of stillness and inner peace and that his mind had become completely absorbed in the present moment. The Buddha smiled and told Ananda that he had experienced samadhi, a state of deep concentration that is a crucial step on the path to enlightenment. The Buddha then continued to teach Ananda about the various aspects of the path to enlightenment, including wisdom, morality, and compassion. From that day on, Ananda continued to practice meditation and the teachings of the Buddha, gradually deepening his understanding and moving closer to enlightenment. Samadhi is a state of inner peace and concentration. You can absolutely achieve this state, but at first you must start. Meditation is way. Of course, there may be others way too, but meditation is the way to experience samadhi. What is the importance of samadhi? Of course, it may be the question of youngsters today. Because in the today's world we have been teaching pleasure and how to get pleasures. Only few are talking about the peace, bliss and joy. Why are we wasting our life in searching for pleasures? We should know pleasures are temporary, but there is something that we can attain for eternity and that is joyfulness, blissfulness. We can achieve these by attaining peace. Peace for eternal. The peace is of course not the subject matter of many youths, so I am not going to talk about the importance of samadhi in anybody's spiritual process. Hope you like the content. Thank you for watching.